Hey boy. What's your plan? Gavin. Gavin. Hey everybody, welcome to another video. So today I just wanted to give a little bit of an intro to what you're about to see. So I filmed this uh, last week and uh, just wanted to put it out now. And uh, I thought, okay, first I want to give you a little heads up to what it is you're about to see. So if you don't know, I'm a farrier in English and in German, a Hubschmied. And uh, we're out and about traveling Germany, visiting medieval towns and villages and observing some of the, the cultures of Germany at the same time as working and shoeing horses. So we're about to go off and visit that lovely little town and uh, enjoy. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and drop a comment what you think about what it is you're about to see. Today's journey takes us down to Ladenburg in Germany and we're here just to change the shoes on the horse and this happens every six weeks. The blackbird inside your chest that calls on you to cry You decided it was time for him to fly Out of the darkness into the light This is my preferred technique, is bending up the nails and then going ahead and removing each nail separately from the shoe. The little black pad that you can see inside the shoe, that's called a snow grip. And in certain areas of Germany where you get a lot of snow, these little pads, they help stop the snow from packing within the shoe. Using a special knife, I'm just going to go through and remove some of the exfoliating salt. Next, we're just going to take the nippers and we just cut the additional hoof which has grown over the last six weeks. Of course, in nature, the horse will be walking around the mountains and the outdoors and it will wear down its hoof naturally. But in a domestic environment, it's a lot more difficult for the horse to do that. So we're going to go ahead and just help the horse remove that additional hoof and then using a rasp, we're going to level it all off. Every hoof has a different shape. So what we're doing now is just building the shape of that hoof into the shoe. And we're using the shoe as an extension of the hoof. Of course, on some shoes, we want to apply some form of modification to help the way the horse moves and to improve the biomechanics. So you'll notice that I'm just rasping the toe a little bit. I'm just putting a bit of a curve and that's because we've modified the shoe to have a bit of an extra roll to, just to help with the horse's biomechanics. And this burning process is absolutely fine. The horse does not feel this or react. So this is an important part, just applying some pins. It's a bit like football studs on boots. So these pins help the horse have some grip on the concrete. Next time I'll see this horse would be in about six weeks. The 
if you want to see more of this, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and drop a comment what you think about horseshoeing. See you soon.